Technology allows us to meet the individual needs of students like never before. That truly is the power of technology, which is why I am constantly talking to school districts that going one-to-one -one isn't a technology issue, it's an equability issue because we need to be able to meet the needs of our students. Now within that, we need to start thinking about in the distance learning situation we happen to be in, what are the things that we were doing in our classroom before that we can transition into this new distance learning era? So the first thing we want to think about is like, okay, how was I making my, how was I making teaching and learning equitable in my classroom? And what are some of those things that actually do transfer into a digital space? We also want to make sure that we are utilizing our home base. All of these home bases, whatever you decided to use as a home base, has some incredible equity tools built into it. Spend some time understanding them and learning them. Every home base is different, but they have tools built in that allow you to make sure that learning is equitable for all students. And lastly, do not underestimate the power of video. The ability for a teacher to make learning for this kid and to make learning for that kid. And nobody needs to know that those videos are different. The power of asynchronous video and allowing us to meet the needs of in, meet the individual needs of every single student mm -hmm. is why we need kids to be on laptops. So we have to be thinking about equitability, absolutely. But let's use the power of these tools in new creative ways that make us think about how I'm meeting the individual needs of every student.